I'm one of the top salesmen in the dealership, but I'm also known as the TDE. Okay. And what's that? That's test drive expert. All right. So you're in for a <laughs> test drive. Okay? okay. All right. And what my goal is, is just show you how the car differentiates between every other car that's on the road. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to do a little acceleration braking test here. Okay. okay. So I'm just going to hit it. We're going to go 0 to 60. 60 to 0, and the car is going to stop dead in the road. you got five link independent suspension on the front wheels. You have independent trapezoid suspension on the rear wheels. Remember, this is a Quattro. It's a proactive all-wheel drive. What that means is that we push the power to the wheels that have the most tire touch as you're driving instantaneously. It's a proactive all-wheel drive. It's not reactive. It doesn't do it after the fact. You couple that with independent suspension, you got more tire touch. When the, when the wheels are independently suspension, suspended, um, you know that you don't have that 80-year-old McPherson strut where you got the toe in and the toe out and your wheels or tires bend as you go through maneuvers in the car, okay? okay? And the best way to exemplify that is to show you how incredible the turning radius is in this car. It's totally incredible. It's six car spots. Six car spots. Car doesn't move. Great maneuverability. That's independent suspension. So remember, the car is not going to move. It cannot move it. It will not move. Now watch the brakes. I'm going to gently apply the brakes. I'm going to stop at two thirds of the distance. You think I can stop from 60 to zero. 19 feet shorter than our competitors. 19 feet, Kelly, that's a garage. So we're trading stopping distance with a softer brake pad, softer rotors for, uh, for you to be able to stop the car exactly where you need to stop. There's no push forward when you stop our cars. Watch the railroad tracks. Don't feel them. That's independent suspension. So each tire or each wheel takes the bumps individually. The whole front end of the car doesn't shake up and down. Okay? okay. Now watch this. No power steering pump. The steering is electromechanical, so at low speeds, very easy to turn. At high speeds, it's speed sensitive, so the car tracks on the highway. I can let go of the steering wheel going 70 miles an hour, and the car is going to track almost straight on the highway unless it hits a bump or there's some uh, gradient in the road. Okay. We're going to get out on the highway, uh, show the acceleration of the car. This is a S6, which is a 520 horsepower. Is that right? 50 horsepower. I don't remember the S. Uh, twin turbo V8. It is a rocket ship. Okay. Remember what, what I tell you the biggest problem was somebody's always in your way. Yeah, I see that. Okay, now one of the things we do in an Audi is we don't brake on the curves. We just turn the car and the car just functions. You can't move it. Also has blind spot, blind spot assist. Uh, see the little black window inside the mirror there? Yes. When somebody gets within 230 feet off the rear of the car on either side, a car, truck, or a motorcycle, a light's gonna light up and tell me they're there. If that light's on, that means I don't move over. Okay, it's like somebody's coming on me right now. Okay. See it light up? Yes. Okay, that means don't pull over. So when you're glancing over there, you think you can move over and that light's on, you don't change lanes. Now this car is built to drive 100 miles an hour more every day, okay? Um, it's built for the Audubon. It's also built to withstand a collision of over 100 miles an hour more every day, okay? So it's built differently. Different steel, different frame, different suspension. It's a different methodology to build these cars. Most of your uh, competitors that aren't German, not built for the Audubon, those cars are built to withstand a collision of 70 miles an hour. So you can kind of see when you start talking about safety, which car is going to be the safest? Well, the one that can withstand a collision of 100 miles an hour. Correct. Now remember, this is a proactive all-wheel drive. So as good as this car is functioning right now in dry, it'll be just that good in rain, snow, sleet, and ice. Okay. okay can't move the car.
Kelly. This is an Audi. Okay. This car will not move in this curve. It will not move. It is not going to move. It is not going to move. Not going to move. Watch the brakes. Gently apply the brakes and I'm gonna stop in two thirds of the distance you think I can stop. Okay. Without grabbing, without pitching forward. Right, so let's go. You got a curve to your right, one to your left, and then another one to the left. So you're just gonna gently accelerate and you're just gonna turn the car. Stay in your lane, okay. turn it. Hit the accelerator, there you go, there you go. Hit the accelerator, there you go. All right, now your tendency is gonna be wanting to slow down right here, but all you're gonna do is just gently accelerate and turn the car. There you go, turn the car. Perfect, perfect, great job. Now see what I tell you? Somebody in your way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How'd that feel? I like that. What kind of car are you driving now? Uh, Mercedes Benz. Mercedes Benz. Is this a 4MATIC? Yes. Now you know that's a rear drive car, right? Yes, I do. And that they push the power after the fact to the front? Yeah, right. Okay. Right. So the difference is ours is a permanent all wheel drive. It's always all wheel drive. 40% power on the front, 60% on the back. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to turn right. We're going to turn right at the light. 